Hey everyone, it's Seth again with another spray paint art tutorial. Today the paint we're going to be doing is mostly a practice of waterfalls. So I'm going to have a moon up here in the corner, and but most of this is just going to be practice for waterfalls. So we're going to have several layers going on here to just really practice it. Since uh, I don't really have a lot of good tutorials on it, I, and most of them only have like one or two waterfalls, and this one's going to have hopefully a series of them. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So as always, testing my paint off to the side to make sure it's spraying well and then just misting where I want my planet to be. All I need is this faint outline, it doesn't need to be too heavy. So I'm gonna make this pretty basic. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. Not a whole lot, I'm gonna keep this painting fairly uh, monochromatic. Not completely, but fairly. And none of my paints want to spray too well. There we go. And then, touch of black. Okay, take a magazine sheet. I'm gonna crumple it up just a little bit, just to give it a little bit more texture. Lay it over, and peel it up. I actually really, really like that texture. Just to make it go a little bit further, I'm gonna add just a little white there. So, I also want to shade the bottom of this just a little bit. Make sure to curve with the plant with your shading here so it's not just a straight line going across because that makes it look more unnatural. So, cover that up there. Then we're going to cover up most of this with white. In fact, I would probably say the bottom half of the post board you can cover up with white. Constantly moving the can, making sure. So as I was saying, make sure to always move in the can quickly. Keep it, you know, probably about six to eight inches away at any given time. So for the bottom of this, I'm going to keep it mostly just black and white. And cover that up lightly with black. I'm going to make sure to really cover up lightly down here since we already have white there and I don't want it bubbling up. And plus we're going to be peeling out most of that, so you don't need to cover it completely. Top, on the other hand, is a different story since there's no paint layered there. You could really cover it up, but still keep the paint relatively light. And then for the sky, add a bit of blue. Like I said, it's going to be fairly monochromatic, but not completely. Okay, I like that. Go spray just a touch of white around the planet to really brighten it up, make it stand out. There we go. And then to make stars, of course, spray some white on your finger, flick off the big blobs, and then just flick. Add as many or as few as you like. I'm going to call it good there. So let's go ahead and lift this guy up. Pretty cool. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to shade this a bit more to really push that in the background. And then I'm going to make our ground texture. So to do that, since I'm right-handed, I'm going to be doing most of the work with my right hand and my left hand is going to be keeping uh, the, poster board, or the magazine sheet out of the poster board and peeling up as I go along. So I push it with my right, draw where I want it to go, and then just peel it up. Okay. I'm gonna make sure to really get up underneath this plant here. And by layering that paint and shading it, it really pushes the planet back really gives a good illusion of depth to it. There we go. Okay. So next what we're gonna want to do, take some black and shade. Okay. Now we're gonna create some waterfalls. So I wanted to have a rock move the waterfall over, so that's why I did the ground texture first. So all I'm going to do to 
a scrap sheet of poster board. Doesn't need to be huge. Probably about an inch wide. Take a magazine sheet. Go fold that in half several times. And then go spray some white. And a little bit of blue. Now I'm not going to mix it up completely because I don't want it to just be a light blue color. I want it to kind of have some of the white and the blue. So all I'm going to do for that, take my magazine or my uh, scrap piece of poster board, just dip the edge in it, and get that little bit of paint right on the edge there. Okay. So all you want to do, I'm just going to basically touch it to the edge of one of these cliffs, go over slightly, very very slightly, and go down. Let me see if I can do this. Over and then down. Didn't really have enough paint on there, but that's fine. There we go. There we go. Okay. So next, I'm going to take the same thing of post board and paint, and I'm just going to drag that along here. Kind of create that illusion of water down here. And all I'm doing is just putting paint on this poster board and then just wiping it across. And you want all these breaks and stuff in here because this is a relatively dark painting. It's, it looks like it's at night. So all these breaks in the paint that create these dark spots uh, make it look like there's shadows in the water. Okay, and as much as I hate to, I am going to go back over this waterfall just because it kind of a little bit screwed up, so I need to add a bit more paint. Okay. That looks a bit better. I'm gonna try and drag that down just a bit. There we go. Okay. Now what I want to do, you can use another scrap piece of poster board for this or a straight edge if you got one. For this, I'm gonna be using this putty knife here. And this you want to make sure that your white's really spraying well, which mine is not. Let's try that again. Well, at the base of my waterfall, I'm going to be spraying mostly on the putty knife here, just to make it look like there's a little bit of mist there. Every time you spray on your straight edge, you'll get a little bit of buildup. All you got to do is just wipe that off. I'm not going to wipe it off over my painting because I don't want it uh, screwing up my painting. So same thing again. So when I said mostly spray on the straight edge, I lied <laughs> because it wasn't leaving very much. So I'm actually spraying quite a bit on the poster board. That line is just to create that definitive lie in there to make it look like it's hitting on, a, on the surface of the water. So I'm going to actually go back over this one. There we go. That's a bit better. Next, I'm going to want to take some, I almost said straight edge. No, some clear coat. That is not wanting to spray very well, apparently. Spray all along there. I want to make sure the paint, the paint there we go, is, is very wet. So what I want to do... Magazine sheet. Peel most of that up. If I could.
just to make this edge really stand out from the rest, I'm just going to take my palette knife, just highlight along there. All I'm doing is holding my palette knife by the handle, and then just going along this edge. Okay. Go shade just a bit. And we're going to repeat all the waterfall steps. So, take your magazine sheet, pull that half once, then twice. Take a bit of white. And touch of blue. Take a scrap piece of post board. I'm going to get a new one. Not that piece though. There we go. And I'm just going to dip it in. So I get quite a bit of paint on there. So we're going to find an edge. Go down. You can put as many or as few as you like. I'm actually going to put another one right there. And then one more. Kind of, over there. <laughs> there we go. And then the same thing as before, we are just going to wipe. There we go. Okay. Then we want to add a bit more mist to the base of these. So, take your straight edge. Whoa, bit too much there. So all we're gonna do, take some of that white, move it down, and then just blend that in. Follow the path of the waterfall, and I'm just gonna blend that in. All right, let's see what we got here. Down, magazine sheet, down. <laughs> So this was mostly just practice for you guys, as well as it was for me at making waterfalls. So basically, the point of this is, make sure that when you have an edge, you want to make it, look, make it look like the water is flowing. So just go over a little bit, and then pull down rather quickly. So, so that way it's not just dragging along there, you run out of paint halfway through. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this painting, and of course, I will see you all later.